Outlander creator Ronald D. Moore talks adapting novels for TV, we always start with a book. Ever wonder how much work goes into adapting a series of novels like Outlander into a successful Emmy-nominated television series? TV creator Ronald D. Moore recently spoke in depth about his process at Stars' Outlander Emmy Fike event, moderated by Gold Derby's Tom O'Neill. We always start with a book. Moore says in reference to Diana Gabaldon's novels that serve as the TV show's source material, watch above. At the beginning of the process we have assistants and researchers and people in the writer's room who literally break down the entire book, chapter by chapter and then scene by scene. Moore continues on, you put the whole thing up on these big white boards that essentially lay out the major plot story. Step 1 is to break it down into 13 hours. Okay. What are the basic chapters of our story? You kind of quickly realize what's gonna fall out and what's gonna have to get condensed and moved around in that part of the process. As for how each book gets broken down into specific episodes, he explains, once you've sort of decided these are the 13 hours then you go deeper into each individual show. And even within that individual show we will always start with the scene breakdown. What was in the book in this section of that book? You sort of start realizing that to make an hour of television out of this, what are we gonna condense? What are we gonna move around? Unfortunately, not everything from the books can make it into the TV series, but that doesn't mean those moments are gone forever. More teases. Some things that are iconic moments to the fans, whether it's a line of dialogue or a scene or even just a visual, sometimes doesn't fit there. But we'll set it aside and go, we're gonna figure out a way to work this in later, even if it's next season or two years from now. So there's certain things that feels like maybe we've forgotten but we never really forget and we're always looking for ways to work them back into the narrative. More, whose other TV credits include Philip K. Dick's Electric Dreams. Battlestar Galactica and various Star Trek series, concludes by admitting, it's a very subjective process, in all honesty, every writer and every showrunner will do it slightly differently. We approach the books with a lot of respect and a lot of love. Besides more, other participants in the Outlander Remy Fike panel included stars Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen, executive producer Merrill Davis, executive producer slash writer slash director Matthew B. Roberts executive producer Tony Graffia and production designer John Gary Steele. Watch the entire Outlander panel discussion right here. Be sure to make your Emmy predictions today so that Hollywood insiders can see how their TV shows and performers are faring in our odds. You can keep changing your predictions as often as you like until just before nominees are announced on July 12th. And join in the fun debate over the 2018 Emmy taking place right now with Hollywood insiders in our television forums. Read more Gold Derby Entertainment News.